Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Copper Gravity YouTube Rolling Ball Sculptures like you've never known before. My name is Ian and I am building RBS7 which is this bearing that will rotate and carry the balls from here to here. I've already done that and from here the balls drop round and need to make their way back down. So I want more than one way down and um, I've decided I'm definitely going to have some switches. So I did a little bit of drawing to remind myself of the switches options and you can have a flip-flop switch, a tilting switch, uh, a Y type switch and I thought I would just have a little play and see what I could come up with that would suit this one. So I've got a little bit of test track that I've made that literally is a ball that goes from one side to the other and I've been cutting up all my little bits of copper pipe. Now I haven't got a lot left so I'm hoping that I don't make too much of a mistake today. So this is what I've done so far. I've got a little bit of M3 threaded rod and I put on a nut and a washer. Onto that goes this central 3mm tube and that is slightly longer than necessary. Then there's a bit of 4mm tube and that pushes onto there. That will be useful later for doing the support. Then I've got this bit here. Now this is quite sexy. This is a 4mm bit of tube with two bits of track that I've bent around and soldered in place. Now that goes on to the centre axle. Then the second little bit of short 4mm tube goes on the end, followed by a washer, followed by a dome nut. And then when the nuts are tightened against each other, the slightly too long centre axle takes all the pressure, but it means there's a little bit of, tiny bit of uh, movement left and right. You can see that's about, about a millimetre. And I'll put some grease on the inside and that is my hinge. And obviously this will be kind of set somewhere like this. So it'll be an inline going forwards or going backwards gate. So second ball will come down here first ball will continue along here. So that's the plan for today. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. You'll see me just basically soldering to music um, and uh, working on this running ball sculpture. Right, let's get going. I've been playing with this a little bit more and I've got some stops in place. So this one and this one are stops to the right and stops to the left. And all I'm trying to do is to make this land in the right place. And I've got a little bit of wood here as a weight, but um, what I'd like to do to make this heavier is probably just add a bit more copper at some point, or take a bit of copper off this side. That would also help balance it up. So I think I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle of the T. That will look nice and symmetrical. I do like the fact that it looks like ticking hands or a clock that says 10 to 2 and I've got to set the distance out but I can do that at a later time. You know, it's going to take a lot of working out but that's the hobby all round. Let me show you from the front. Do you like this? Bed goes up. I think it's good. Bed goes up. Bed goes down. Bed goes up. Bed goes down. Bed so I got these French curves a long time ago, and every now and again I use them. What I've done now is I've taken some paper and I've kind of cut it to shape, and this is going to be the next section of downhill track. So the ball will come in on the right, go all the way around to the left do a circle and dropping down the front will come in and go underneath this track here and arrive at this point here. So next job is to get the copper, I've uh, got a nice couple of long bits of copper and I'm going to start to bend this up and kind of match this as I go but if it doesn't match it perfectly that's fine as long as it fits in here uh, it's going to be good. 
So here's the piece that I'm working on at the moment. It's just held in there temporarily and you can see I've got a nice curve that comes in, um, needs a whole bunch more of track spaces. It goes off, it does a 180 and it comes down here and then it will go back and do something over in this gap. And it's getting a bit tight already so I just want to show you this thing here. This item is a sky hook that comes down from above and supports the original piece of track that comes off the top of the wheel but it's right in the way of where the ball will go. Um, if I put a ball here you can see that the ball can't get through. So I need to edit something I've already done which is hilarious because I've only just started the project. So I've been thinking about what to do and I'm going to make a piece of copper come out of here, go across and then all the way down from here to the bottom and I will drill a hole and put a little hole in here. So I'll end up with a vertical support on the right hand side of the sculpture. And that means that everything I do that needs to be supported on this side can have a, like a um, branch coming off the, off the trunk of the tree that's on this side. That leaves the left hand side here free for all sorts of other things. Um, at the moment I have got a temporary support in here just, just to see how it would look in case I want one there. But I haven't decided on that yet. So that's the next job. I'm going to get rid of this bit, convert it into a vertical bit and then I can carry on building this track and make sure that the balls can get through. So it's a complicated business this design work, especially when you don't fully plan things out. But that's how this one's going. Here's the vertical all the way in and got a nice little cross bit that goes across to the original bit of track just there and then the vertical goes all the way down to the bottom where I have also done a really good thing. I'll show you underneath because here you can see that the bottom of the vertical comes out here and I've attached on it the uh, a little bit of horizontal here and then off to the right comes the earth wire that I said I'd do. So that means that all the earthing is done, the motor, the switch plate and the um, and all of the copper track. So the next job is to finish this top piece. I've got a whole bunch of spaces to put on it, track spaces. So about every 50 mil there'll be track spaces and then when that's done I can attach it to the right up here. I can attach it to this vertical with something just here and I can work out exactly how I'm going to attach it on the left. beginning to look a little bit like a rolling ball sculpture. I've got balls getting to the top and rolling down. Very pleased. And I think that will do for the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to clean this all up and sort it out and add in a few more supports so there's going to be one here and there's going to be one on the left hand side and obviously I need to make sure that there's enough velocity in the ball to get around the corner and come down and join onto the switch here. So I'm going to carry on fettling and playing. I'll see you in the next episode which will be 2024. Finishing off this uh, sculpture is my aim for the first part of the of the year and then after that RPS 8 and 9 and 10. Lots of ideas, lots of things I want to do. Uh, if you want a commission let me know. Uh, if you want to buy one I've got some on my Etsy store. Um, I'm having a nice time doing these. I hope you are also having a nice time watching me do these. So thanks for all your comments, likes, shares and subscribes throughout the whole of the year. See you next time. Ciao for now. Bye.